George Smithies here, one of the, uh, the co-founders at Index. Uh, we're a workforce management uh, software that empower our workforce and bring more communication, more visibility, and uh, hopefully more efficiencies to the construction site. So um, I, myself, chartered civil engineer, Aaron, a co-founder, another civil engineer. Um, we both met sort of a good 10 years ago now. Um, I mainly have been working for principal contractors and are more on the sort of the subcontractor side of things. So we really understand, you know, integration of supply chain and where the critical points are uh, in the breakdown of communication of that. So we've been um, building Index now for the last sort of three years. Um, the initial sort of the the last straw, I guess, um, of the the platform was I went down and inducted onto Crossrail down with Costain at Bond Street a couple of yeah probably three years ago. Sat all day filling in paper forms um, as an induction and just thought, my God, this is so, so inefficient. Um, and then there's no use for this information after. Um, so we went away and we basically built a system where you create a profile, um, much like a sort of a LinkedIn or a Facebook, I guess. Um, you put all of your competencies in there. They're all verified, your CSCS cards, your you know, your excavator driver cards, all, all these sorts of different competencies, competencies they're all um, verified externally, um, train bases. Um, and then this basically passport travels around you, um, around the industry with you, uh, and is used as your induction. So before getting on site, you send it off to the contractor, they review it, they give you the thumbs up, and then that's your, your key onto the construction site, whether that be through logging in each day through geofencing, coming through some facial recognition turnstiles, or just using it for reporting progress, um, reporting issues out on site, reporting quality, um, and, and many other tools. We, we work as innovation partners for each of the companies we work with, currently about 40 across the UK, um, Australia and Ireland at the moment. Um, and yeah, I guess what I want to present to you guys today is one of our most recent companies we've been working with, um i'll get straight into it i guess so reedy construction so reedy construction founded 2008 um so not that old already turning over 300 million quid um so not doing not doing too badly at all we went and did a trial project with them um in november last year um this quickly turned into company-wide rollout in january uh, so two, two and a half months later, roll out across the business. We're now working on it's roughly about 21 projects they've they've got going concurrently. Uh, and they're trying to grow to a sort of half billion pound business over the next couple of years. So exciting business to be working with uh, an exciting sort of partner to be innovating with as well. When we first started working with them, uh, we came in, we brought in our access control, our digital inductions, and a few sort of bits of sort of KPI reporting up to their clients. I'll, I'll show you a bit of a demo later on what exactly that means. Um, then as we worked with the business, um, we developed new tools with them. We don't always just go out and develop new tools. We sit down with our teams and we, we do it very systematically where we have every month, we'll sit down with every contractor that we work with basically. Uh, and we'll brainstorm, we'll come together, we'll create a roadmap that um, is everyone sort of happy with. Um, and then we go and either use a system and, and integrate with it. We've got an open API where we integrate with it or we go away and build ourselves. We're, we're construction people. We understand that there's a lot of good software out there. There's a lot of software as well that's not been built by construction people. So there's an element of getting that balance right and you know, it's the, the old the old saying, don't reinvent the wheel, but, you know, simplicity is key. Um, and, and we like to, yeah, keep it simple. And it seems to be working for us at the moment anyway. So, yeah, next sort of point, moving into the sort of uh, HC compliance side of things. So we basically work with the, the health and safety team a hell of a lot. They use the index platform to report back in um, to the C-suite up at Reedy. Um, they have monthly sit downs. They all go through the platform. They can see their projects sat from wherever they are. They'll be on Teams and Zoom, wherever. They don't have to all be in one place. There's one screen that they share. They can go through uh, and they can understand exactly where their projects are in terms of both progress, in terms of health and safety stats, in terms of quality, in terms of closeout. When they get into the end project completion, they understand exactly what that risk is um, in, in being able to complete that project in time. So it's, it's, it's really interesting stuff. 
uh, and, and we're adding sort of massive value there with it. Legacy savings, we all know that the traditional way of doing things is that there'll be lots of paper in the back of a room, it'll get archived somewhere where no one knows where it is. Um, hopefully it'll get scanned into the system and put somewhere where, you know, might be the right place, might not be. We've tried to, we've built a system where it's all, you know, sat in a, on a server, um, there's access to it for whatever period of time they need they can download they can export all of the information if they if they if they want um and then it's there for you know 10 years down the line when there might be an issue um you know it's, it's they're ready to go really cool fact um and i think it's it's pretty impressive one so we've got about fifteen thousand people on on the app at the moment and weekly use is about 34 percent of all those users which from from what i've heard um and then you know i don't i don't know everything but when you've got everybody on that construction site, so you've got everybody from the guy laying the bricks, tying the tying the bar, um, knocking up the shutters, all the way through to yeah, managing director on a weekly basis, 34% is, is a pretty good, pretty good stat. Um, moving then into the future, so we're trying to build a platform uh, around them where we move to let them understand their workforce. We really see that in historically with building projects, we never really learn any lessons. And I know lots of people are working on this sort of stuff and there's some, there's some great stuff up with, with AI and, and being able to predict an analysis. Um, fantastic, what we're trying to do and we will be starting to apply some AI to it at some stage when we get big enough to be able to afford that sort of stuff. But we're trying to let projects understand their workforce, both geographically, both in terms of their competence, um, their, their past experience, uh, their training, and then be able, to be able to better influence where they're tendering, what they're tendering on uh, with the skills that they've currently got, but also then spot gaps. So in terms of when they're going out to tender a project, they can be more aware of where they might need to, to find sort of core um, skills. Another thing that we're working on, you know, COVID has accelerated this, it's getting, getting the blue collar to work near a home and it's getting the white collar to be able to work from home, have the flexibility to, to work, work from wherever, but be informed as ever as well. Um, innovation partners, aligning roadmaps, that's key. Uh, understanding that customer client, being really customer centric, getting under, getting into bed with them and, and really sort of rubbing shoulders and making sure that what they, where they're going on their journey, we're also going. This is just a little little write up from Paul, who sort of led the the rollout um, from Reedy Construction. He's one of their, their senior health and safety managers. It just gives a bit of sort of credit to what we've been doing, but also, you know, it backs up what I've just been saying. There, they've been looking for a platform. They've trialled it, innovative. Now we're working with them to roll out across the business and and develop sort of extra tools. But I'm just gonna switch over and give you guys a quick demo now as well. Um, right there, nope, hold on, apologies. So the way that the platform works is that everyone will download the app. So this is the, the mobile side and they'll create a, a profile. That profile, like I said, then becomes that passport round. You get an induction, um, an invite onto an induction onto a project, hopefully at the health and safety pre-start meeting. It's there on the day that happens sometimes, but it is meant to be that, that pre-enrollment. Once you submit in the induction, then one of these cards come up. Once it's been approved, then you can get into the project. So that's your key to the project, like I mentioned. Now, like I said, you can sign in through here through a geofencing setup. Depends on what size project it is. That's how we've allowed ourselves to work on smaller projects, but also big mega infrastructure projects as well. Um, being, being hardware agnostic uh, is definitely a sort of key differentiator between us and competitors in the market. Our competitors are hardware providers who have built a bit of software over the top whereas we're a software um, provider that is agnostic with hardware so if a client comes to us and asks us to connect with something we'll go away and if we're not already got the API there to connect we'll we'll build something to make it happen um, lots of tools here I'm not going to bore you to death and go through all of them but it's in the hands of every single person on that construction site now this has got all admin access levels you, you sort of your general person on site will have a number of these things they can report in issues on site anonymously um, they don't have to be going up to the project manager and asking for a, a close call card to be able to report in something bad about that that, <laughs> that individual's project uh, and and just gives that communication so if if there's something that needs to go out on news blast 
can go out to everybody in the app and get notification um, and they know they're informed, they know what's going on. Just jump in a bit into the project portal. So this is just what it, what it looks like. It's pretty simple. Jump into your particular project. Got a nice little map here about what's going on. You sort of your key stats thing here that we've added um, is just to, so you know who that first aider is on site. Um, it was always painful for myself knowing that these method statements had potentially the wrong first aider written on them. If, if there was an accident on site, most construction sites out there at the moment would be phoning multiple first aiders before they got through to one that was actually on site. So little things like this, these are put on TVs around the sites that all the firms that we work with gives you stats on social impact, you know, your local workforce, seeing where they are, your carbon footprint, uh, and then just a multitude of tools then uh, for you to be able to, to work through and, and add. I think that is me done. That's all right, Phil. I'm not sure how much time I've got left, but. Well, you got a couple of minutes left, but um, I just wanted to highlight one of the things that I really like about this application, which is that you developed it on the basis of a need that you perceived on a mega project. You know, you, the, the situation you described where you went in on the site at Crossrail and you lost tons of time filling in paperwork. You looked at how inefficiently their processes were in terms of keeping track of the people that were actually doing the work and the vulnerabilities that were there. And then there's the other point about the depth of the supply chains and how the people on these sites will be parts of different organizations. Maybe they're subcontractors of other subcontractors and you level that whole playing field because everybody's in your app, regardless of what organization they're in. So I, I think that that's really brilliant and I can, I can see where that would provide value. Um, the other thing was um, you didn't mention hardware and how um, you're, you're, you're hardware agnostic, right? And you just invent as much as you can in, in the software system to, uh, to, to leverage the different devices is that correct yeah yeah so i'll just touch back on one point that you made there because i didn't actually make it earlier the workforce spend on an average construction site can be anything up to 50 percent of the total spend we can make our workforce that slightly bit more efficient you know we're, we're saving a lot of money it's all bottom line um so interesting sort of point there to sort of think about you know there's lots of lots of software out there but the workforce are, are definitely there's there's value to be brought from them in terms of hardware yeah, totally. So what we've tried to do is almost create ourselves a bit of a marketplace with hardware. Um, the likes of, you know, Procore and something like that created a, a software marketplace. We're trying to they, now be the sort of the basket almost below that, I guess, and then creating the, the hardware marketplace. So we've got about 10 different types of system that we're currently linked with. The customer comes to us and says, we've got this already, we've already bought it, or this is what we want to buy, or this is what we've been told to buy. We'll We'll find a way to link up with it if we're not already linked up with it so it's, it's definitely one of our sort of usps probably it's just being very adaptable when it comes to hardware 